Live from the Team GRF newsroom with all the news you can use. It's Team GRF in the AM with your host with the most, the greatest in existence, the best in the business, the one and the only, the triple, the G O D. Announcer, man. Before we get started, man, I want to thank you. You always take care of me, man, when it's time when it's time to introduce me, man. I appreciate that, man. Give me some. Blat out. Uh. Announcer, man. The one only triple the G-O-D, Squish Murder, live on Team GRF TV in the AM. And, yo, we've got news. Plenty of news. News I should have covered about a week ago, but it's like, well, I'm going to wait for the other trailer to come out. And then this information came out. And now that the stream happening right now, that I should probably wait and cover, but no. We cover the news the way the news should have been covered two days ago, but I've been tired of doing it. But I'm up and at them right now. You can call me the you can call me Adam Matt up here. I'm up and at them, baby. Uh, we got to do this because if I don't do this now, it's going to be too much news to cover about this one subject. And I can make two videos and I can do that. And there's something, but there's a reason why I wanted to keep this information separate from the other because there's something that I really want to school the internet about, about a piece of information that just is going over everybody's head, even though the information was what it was. But we'll talk about that later. What we are doing here this morning is we've got two trailers to watch. The Napa trailer and the Captain Ginyu trailer. So we got to get into all that. Because this should have been done like last week sometime, and there were options for me to do it last week, but it's like, man, I'll wait till the proper trailer come out. That's just bad, bad, bad journalism. But I'm making up for that now. So, I got the Napa trailer, I got the Napa trailer up, it's like, I've heard a little bit of what Napa can do. Mainly, it's, it's Cybermen and Mouth Beams. Come get some of this Mouth Beam! Come get some! Come get some of this Mouth Beam! And then be exploded into nothingness. Something, something, chow to something, 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 something. All right, man, let's watch the trailer. How about we watch this trailer and see what's up with that boy, Young Napa, and the mouth being them Cybermans? Rated nothing because we haven't rated the game yet, damn ESRP. Thanks, all the people. He looks very angry. I've always wondered what his Super Saiyan form looked like. Okay, you, okay, man. Now, but you doing that big body stuff. Oh, plant them Cybermen, though. Cybermen, son. Come get some of this mouth beam. Come get some of this mouth beam. Yes. Come get some of this mouth beam. Come get some of this mouth beam. Whoa. That was a giant mouth beam. He gave, he gave, he gave that work the mouth beam. Or the mark the, I don't know. But there was lots of mouth beam. Come get some of this mouth beam. Come get some of this mouth beam, okay? Come get some of this mouth beam. Oh my God. Yo. Yo. Y yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, okay. I I'll say this real quick. When it comes to Napa and fighting games, I've never been a humongous fan, for real. Like, Napa wasn't a character that I really played, but there are games, like, especially the game that I started to really appreciate, that Big Body wasn't extreme Butoden, kind of weird, right? That the game that would make me appreciate the game is technically a sequel to the game that the old internet is hype about. Napa is a beast, in extreme Butoda. He got he 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 made that big body work. He made that big body work sweaty. Like he hit he hit hard, but the thing is, he a DP one. So even with him hitting hard and all that old stuff, and you can say this you can say something similarly about Raditz too, who I think will ultimately be in this game. Double Sunday is I appreciate that, you know, that they giving him something else. That they giving him the Cyberman. Because what that's gonna do is that's going to give Napa a way to get in because he a big body. He a, he a different big body than, than Android 16 is because 16, his only job is to get in and give you nice cuddly Android hugs where you lose all of your energy and die. So Napa's different because he can set a, he can set a Cyberman, plant him in the ground, and then set up for what he wants. It's like everybody in the game got air dashes. This is a this is a air dashy friendly game, so you can get your air dash on. So Napa can do a lot of setups 
And because he a meaty big body, that them hitboxes is going to be crazy. He going to be able to hit you from angles that you think and people are going to disagree early on that you probably shouldn't be getting hit from. But in between that, I got these big hitboxes. I'm a big body and he got them Cybermen. I'm like, I really think that Napa going to be a problem. He going to be a problem early because people are going to have to deal with a high-low game from a character who normally doesn't have that. Because usually all he is is a couple of punches. It's a mouth beam. But with the but with the Cyberman, it gives him it gives him a high low game that people are going to have to deal with. Is that because of those Cybermen, he gonna be able to, like I said earlier, hit you in angles, directions, and ways that you will sit up here and scream and cuss and swear up and down. He has no business hitting you from, at least until people learn how to defend it. So I really see that you're going to have some cats getting with Nappa early on, going to really be giving people the blues until they figure the character out. So be expecting that, please. Come get some mouth beam. Get this mouth beam. Get this mouth beam. All right. Shifting gears, I think. Captain Ginyu, body swapping. I've always appreciated that body swapping is a mechanic and games with Captain Ginyu in it get it pretty right because when you think about that type of gameplay mechanic, it's not hard to get right. Switching bodies. It's not a it's not a hard mechanic. And and most and the majority of Dragon Ball games that have Captain Ginyu in it, nail it in a way that keeps the move accurate to the show and manga, but keep it fair enough within video game land. Because you sit up for take a beating switching bodies, day in, day out. Switching bodies. Y'all don't know nothing about student bodies, so don't you dare get on this. On her talking about man, I used to see student bodies back in the day. Nah. They used to come on. Let me see. Student body used to come on after cartoons on Channel Two back in the day. Do not be not and then and then. No wait, I take that back. No 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 no. Student bodies used to come on. Actually, student bodies used to come on like for like two seconds. It came on after the Fox cartoon went off, but then they moved it to before the cartoon went off. And I think student bodies was running around the same time. Speaking of when the original, yeah, because. The original Dragon Ball used to come on right before it on Channel 2. Throwback stuff, y'all know about this. But look, y'all ready to watch the Captain Genu trailer? I think I am. We 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 gon we gon I've I've heard what he can do, but I want to see it for myself, and I really didn't want to talk about other than body switching and stuff, and we'll discuss more about that in a minute. Trailer, doom 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 trailer. Hmm. Captain Genu. Uh. Oh, he can call a squad out? What? Uh oh. Oh, go. Okay, I just wanted to make sure the whole squad was there. That was gold, though. Okay. I have been waiting because I heard that's what he did the streets and the rumors and whatever. See, I want to give y'all a little lesson about the Ginyu Force in fighting games. I never understood why it was always Captain Ginyu and Raccoon. I really think no one really for years before the Sparking series really figured out what the hell you could do with the nephew Goldo. I don't think they could figure it out. And Jason Berter, I'm like, Jason Berter worked better as a tag team as they do individuals. And the show shows you that. But then, like I said, the Sparking series just started reaching for people. And it was good to see Goldo and and Jason Berter playable. But I'm glad this isn't a fighting game that's trying to shoehorn Raccoon in. Like, like, if you want some more of that mouth beam, that's fine with me. You want some more mouth beam, that's cool. However, I always felt that I wanted to see Jason Berter. And I wanted to see what Goldo can do. And the Sparking series does a, a really good job representing those three characters in the way that they are playable in those games. So you can't be mad at that. But everything else was Captain Ginyu fair. I'm like, given 
that the Ginyu Force is an option for him to use? I'm like, you saw everything they can do with just mostly jumping out, throwing fireballs, and kicking people. So, I really think Captain Ginyu is just another character that wants the streets to figure out like how to use his assist properly. You gon' you gonna see combos that use every single member of the Ginyu Force. Guaranteed. Because that's what our system work does. I'm like, our system works makes characters with assists and makes them viable enough to make them usable. I'm like, the perfect example I can think of of a, of assists like that is you got Judah from Fist of the North Star and you got, um, who is that? Who is that from us? Say Goku Star Cross. Give me a second. I got this. Okay. Because is that Hold up, let me let me see. Give me give me the um give me give me the character give me I, I need the the um the character list of Sengoku Basara Cross because if I see the person's name I know exactly who it is. Let me see. <laughs> Mori Motonari, thank you very much. Thank you. Mori Motonari. But Mori, when I think about it, is a different type of assist character because of how he interacts with his assist versus this being a lot more, a lot more just like, yo, do an assist command, people will jump out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But Mori was a monster, and and like and I talk about it in this in the uh, Sengoku Basar Cross video I made years ago. Is that when the game first came out, he was the most dangerous member in the cast because once they figured out he had an infinite and he was one of the early characters that they did, it took a long while for for players to adjust to sit up her because again, just really quickly, a Sengoku Basar Cross history lesson for you is. When the game first came out, before Infinites were found and stuff, the game was bleeding straight up, and he was the best character straight up because no one really knew at the beginning of the game's life how to deal with that character. There were a, um, a, a, pro, a couple of problem characters when the game first caught. It was mainly him and Kenshin that people had a hard time dealing with. But then once... Once they once characters start figuring out infinites and stuff, and once characters like Oda got off the ground, and once people figured out how much of a beast Hideyoshi was, then the game started to change. And then everybody had an infinite, and if you didn't, and there was a character, and that character being Tadakasu Honda, is you know you become the worst character in the game because the only thing that makes you great is the thing that's banned in tournament play. So what are you gonna do? So there you go, small little Sengoku Basar cross history lesson. But, like I say, our system works does characters like that well. Just a couple of just a couple of examples of proof thereof, and it will be interesting to see what that's going to be. Now, before we get up out of here, I want to address the rumor that has now been debunked about Boma, because I'm glad I didn't hop on a video and say anything. It doesn't mean that she won't be playable, that they're not thinking about it. And that, and that our system works couldn't make Bowman work as a character. But there is a piece of information I want to share with you. Because I need to debunk the rumor once and for all that Bowman has never been a playable character in a Dragon Ball fighting game when you would be wrong. The game you're looking for is Dragon Ball Evolution. Yes, I know how people feel about the movie that it wasn't, what you agree with, da 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 da, da such and so forth. However... Very important, however, that game is the last Budokai game we got, and it is a wonderful send-off to the series, because Burst Limit, because here, here's the lineage. You got Budokai 1 and Budokai 3. You have the evolution in that in the Shin Budokai series. You take what the Shin Budokai series, and you do monstrous dirt with Burst Limit. You bring it back, you do a little tweaking, and you get Infinite World, and then you get the masterpiece that is Dragon Ball Evolution. Bulma is a monster. It's like once you understand the higher level mechanics when it comes to the the next generation Budokai games, dirt. 
it's like the 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 new Budokai games. What I would like the new Budokai games that come after three D Shin Budokai series and stuff like that. There are games that are a lot more about pressure offense instead of just offense because. Your job is to, first your, is to force your opponent to burst or put them in a situation where they cannot do nothing and they have to just sit there and take all the damage until they can. And characters in Dragon Ball Evolution have elongated high damage combos where there I don't I really don't there are there are combos in that game with the right setup that puts you close to death. That puts you close to death in that situation. The game is a beast. Boma's is a beast in it, and she's everything that you would respect. Dual pistols. She can sit up her. She can she can drop a um, out a boat, drop a motorcycle on your head, and she sit up her karate kicking you while doing some John Woo shit. And that's what it is. So go take that back to your internet message boards. Take that back to your Reddit holes. Boma was playable in a Dragon Ball fighting game, and I would appreciate that if you would stop spreading misinformation because I don't really feel like taking time out of my video to correct the whole internet because no one knows how to do the research or the job. Helping me help you help yourself. A triple the G.O.D. state. So, we're going to be right back to the hustle in a minute because... That stream is popping. Anything can come out of that. Hopefully some trailers, if they do, we'll get on it. We'll watch it. We'll involve ourselves in it, get real dirty with it, and see what this stream has to offer. This broadcast is over. Gone. Shoo. Beat it. Get out of here. You know what it is. The one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D. Live on Team GRF TV in the AM. And I'd like to thank you one more time for joining me for what we do right here. L-I-V-E. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>